You've seen my Valve Steam Deck unbox video. You've seen my Valve Steam Deck tour and setup video. Now it's time for my Valve Steam Dock Deck Dock Docker Dock. Because now we're going to connect our deck to the dock with a Steam Deck Dock Box thing. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's unbox the Steam Deck Docks. Docks? Steam Deck Dock. Not as exciting as the uh, Steam Deck box itself with the little uh, kind of jokes about how you can uh, play it in a test chamber and so forth. Very simple. I don't imagine this is going to be the most exciting un unbox ever, but nonetheless, content watch time is content watch time. So I'll give you a good look at it. What it includes. What it comes with and so forth. And hopefully it will help you decide for yourself if you want to spend 70 quid on this. So we've got the uh, Steam Deck symbol there. Very nice. A little bit dusty. Let me give it a little bit of a blow. That's what she said. <clears throat> okay. Much better. Uh, got like a material underneath. You can see there. So that should stop it from... Uh, yeah, that stops it from sliding, which is good. So there's a little cushion in underneath. Uh, we have a, is that a call like an end, N end L L shape L bend or something like that? connected there. So that's going to connect to our Steam Deck USB C as you see. Yeah, excuse the pun. We have a. Display port, I believe it's 1.6 or 1 1.4, one of them. I've got the page right here on my uh, right here. So, yeah, display port 1.4. It's right there. HDMI 2 here. That is uh, powering. Ethernet. Gigabit Ethernet slot. And these are free USB 3 1 slots. So that's pretty good. Pretty much everything you need. Now, I remember in my, uh, if you watched my setup video, we were using this, which has a few things as well, including um, free USB C slots. Now, I think this was like 30 pound, maybe 20 pound. So, anyway, you can check all the things will be in Amazon link where available. So, you can consider that if you want to maybe save some money. But let's, uh, that's the unbox already done, really. Let me see if there's anything else in the box before we continue. We've got cloud saves, so it should be good. Oh, here we go. Get another cable. Oh, can I get it out? That was a question. And we have instructions at the bottom as well. So, put that over there. And you can see here, nice AC adapter. USB-C, as you'd expect. So that's going to go into the power in. So we're going to connect this up in a moment. Just going to do that. Let's grab this here, have a look. Health and safety and maintenance, nothing interesting. Don't use it to make toast or coffee. Okay, so that's the box. All right, guys, let's connect it up. So Steam Deck needed. Put it right there, like so. Uh, camera angle could be better for this, but I think you'll get the idea nonetheless. I'll do my best with it. Power cable attachment goes in the top like that. That works pretty well. Look, like clip in as you pull in. You can see it's just like that. That's pretty stable. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna. Turn it around here. I'll move this out of the way for a bit. The rest, a little keyboard rest here. So you can see in the back here. What we'll do is just uh, zoom in a little bit. And I got my cable here on the lap. So I'm at that same power cable I showed you earlier. Goes into there, like so. Good stuff. Uh, let me get my internet cable ready actually I'll pause real quickly 
I just noticed I forgot my lovely, lovely face. Oh gosh, now the view's gonna be way, way down. All right, so I've got my cable here. And uh, I'm gonna stick it in. Since we do have the consent, as ever. I kind of zoomed it out a little bit here, but you guys can see, I'll just bring it up like that. There we go. Uh, is there anything USB we would put in? Typically, I might just try the HDMI because we've never done that on recording before, yeah? So, turn uh, the power on, turn the power on, right here. And you can see the lights lit up, so we know it's working. Now, how am I going to angle this for you guys? I could move the camera around a bit, pause and mess up my perfect angle here. But I think I'm just going to probably just do that. So we can see it's all there, it's docked in. Docking station update available. There's an update for this. This has got technology. Let's apply the update. It's an important firmware update, apparently. Update docking firmware. Do not unplug Steam Deck. Okay, well, I didn't know that thing had anything in it to update, but apparently it does. So, got it here first, live. Uh, one minute 37 seconds isn't good for watch time, so we're going to pause and hopefully I'll get back before anything interesting happens. We can always use the uh, replay button, need be. And it just finished. Nothing happened, exciting, so I don't know if my capture that power. Anyway, that's updated. Um, I just remembered to connect the actual... Oh, I've still got my uh, unbox gloves on. How dare I get this off? It's going to be a little bit difficult doing the touchscreen stuff with uh, unbox gloves. Fancy gloves. So anyway, it's already charged here. Yeah, it's full. But that's fine, it is connected. Believe it or not, the power is connected and everything. Um, can you play games while this is... I suppose you kind of can. Yeah, it could work like this. So as I'm kind of sitting, I could play like this. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a pretty neat package. Um, I guess we should try and connect it to a screen. And that's going to require me to pause and hope everything doesn't just destroy itself. So um, otherwise, though, it's a neat package. You can see it's all pretty clean. It's giving it that kind of switch-like feel. So I'm digging it. Um, yeah, we uh connect it up to something I guess we'll try all right so I've got my um I don't know if you guys could hear the fans the fans are audible with uh, the steam deck I don't know how it is when you're playing a game but it's audible so I've got my HDMI cable here I'm gonna stick it into here I've got it connected directly to my HD60X I've got HD60X so we'll see how that goes rather than the monitor and all that stuff we should still be able to get a capture which is the equivalent so I've done that now it's connected um, I'm going to pause again and see if I can get a capture for you guys. That should be fun. Live. Doing it live. All professional. And we're back. As you guys can see, camera's more in the camera because, well, giving you kind of a better angle, hopefully. Um, it's connected now to the TV. Um, I suppose I can... I haven't got any porn lying around or anything ever. No. I think so. I should be okay here. Maybe I can turn it down a little bit. Oh my gosh. There you go. That's it on the TV there. And... Oh gosh. That's the dock. So when it's um, HDMI is connected, it turns off the screen like you would have with a switch. Now I don't know whether or not you can have it on at the same time. Which would be an interesting thing to check. But um, you can see that it works. Uh, um, input still works here. Which is interesting. But what I was thinking we'll do is we'll try connecting the controller. I'll use my uh, favorite Bling controller. Which is the PlayStation 5 DualSense. And we'll also probably try a game with the Xbox controller as well. The uh, Elite 2. So... Uh, right here. We'll put it right here. Yeah, it helps to put it in the right way as well. There you go, you guys can see that. That's awesome. Let's get back in the position there. Push it all the way back. 
And let's see if the, uh, anything I have to do with the controller. That's working right away. I like it. This is good. I just need to get into picture. So you can see here. Let's try Metro Exodus. I think this works with the uh, Steam Deck, right? Never actually run it. I'll pause if I need to. Uh, recommended the temp template layer. I wonder how the, if they have to do any extras to make the dual sense work properly. Because um, was this a dual sense controller game? I don't know. I haven't got any dual sense controller games running on the um, Steam Deck right now, or installed. Like I think Deathloop works with it, so it'd be interesting to see if that kicks in. But um, yeah, I'll pause till we get into the interesting point. I just want to say, guys, that I've paused it. You can see the time now at the top right of the preview window. This Vulcan shaders process and Vulcan shaders thing takes ages. Make sure you run your game first in case, because I'm here like, I feel like I've been 10 minutes away. I don't know what the time will be, but man, yeah, just a heads up. Ugh. It didn't take till July, but gee. All right, so it says here, external controller translation. Right now, Steam input is translating your external controller for Metro Exodus. This means you may not see controller gifts. Just remember, this game actually does take um, dual sense. So that's a uh, fortuitous. Um, yeah, well, I don't know if we can change that or fix that or not, but that's beyond the scope maybe of this video. I don't want to go into 20 minutes. Already something like 10 minutes. It's a surprising for a Steam Deck doc video i will pause when it's interesting again like when we're actually in some gameplay see what's going on so looking at some of the settings here guys you can see it's at 720 maximum 720p uh i have changed vsync to full uh i have changed here works to on and uh i think it was quality to high i think it's an ultra but i'm gonna leave it on high you can see there's no ray tracing by default. I think you have to do something like install Windows or something crazy. But I think that it has the capability to do ray tracing, but it hasn't happened yet as an update. So, um, yeah, if you're going to get a Steam Deck at the moment, unless you're going to do some hacking or install Windows or something like that, you won't be able to do uh, ray tracing at time of recording. Um, at least as far as I'm aware. If you know otherwise, do drop it in the comments below. For I know everything. And yet, nothing. So going into the controller options here, guys. This looks like the PlayStation controller to me. So um, we'll see how it works. If we're getting the Dual Sense on the Dual Dual Deck, the Steam Deck. Let's Steel. get some. Let's get some cutscene action Across for you guys. It will. Let's see what's going on here. And we also conquered it's looking the good. I suppose I can make this kind of bigger, there but used um, to be seven it's not really the scope or purpose of this we uh, video. So life in the tunnels. To see the controls work is the main thing. But um, and I all looks good so far. All right, I want to take I want to take a look at how it looks on the screen here. So looks pretty good. If I remember the buttons, haven't finished this one still. So um, yeah. All we've got to do is test the shooting real quick to see if it's got the trigger resistance which will tell us right away that it's a uh, PS5 in but I uh, shouldn't take too long with the test here oh gosh that was a big ass spider jeez gee whizzle get out of here with that ball mm. Mm. hope you guys like spiders and other creepy crawlers uh, right way yeah we're going to just get some shots off. I'm just going to run through his webs here. And have my phone go off and make noise in the background. <laughs> Find the wrong way. I am. This is a little pause and wait till we get some shooting here. Because I'm uh, kind of bending time. I guess I could edit it out. I'm going the right way. Looks pretty good though, right guys? A 720p thing. I'm on a 4K TV here. It's not quite as sexy as it 
4K. That wasn't me, but it's not as sexy as a 4K uh, 120 hertz experience, but for a portable, pretty impressive. It's running pretty good. Got it on high. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not getting I'm getting vibration, no trigger resistance. I'll probably have to do some tweaks um, to confirm or not, but I'm pretty sure I'd be surprised if it didn't fully work. What I do want to bring to you guys' attention is that the buttons obviously still work. So I can just press that and then I can uh, exit the game. So Steam button, basically. I imagine I could have got the same thing with the maybe the PlayStation button. And let's see. Gosh. Yeah, that pretty much works as well. Showing the PlayStation, so I'm wondering. That's definitely something to do with the um, some settings and stuff. Yeah, this is a, this is an other thing. There's some other thing. All right. So yeah, back in on. All right, we're back into all faithful. I can't do anything in this one here because it's, it's still blind and I haven't. Done anything but kill by that dude on the horse, but you can see the performance is good. Let's do that, I suppose, and that. And the uh, controller is, I've got to show you guys that. Xbox controller. Do not touch the screen because it activates as a click. So, heads up there. Because you can still use the full controller here. And you can see we've got some clit on, pinion, pinions. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Also as well, to show you, here's a button here, dot the dot button. And you can see the battery is not leaking or anything like that. It's full, fully charged in switch, switch star. All good. All right. Right now we're trying the uh, arcade stick. So we think next, can I do 720p through this device, it seems. I haven't seen any option for 1080p. Uh, let's try the sentence. I say no or yes, then I think it's I'm not using my stick too much, so I've got to kind of uh, get warmed into it. This uh, strap here is a vibration thing. Again, you can get this through my Amazon links, guys, if you're going to buy it. Support the channel for free. It's very awesome, this, so I've got to do some more stuff on it. I don't know if I've done the unbox for it yet or not. But um, yeah, that's what this uh, does, this vibration thing. So we're going to go into something here. Don't put anything. I put money in. Shoot. How do you put money in? Left trigger. Which one's left trigger on this? That one. Game. Which one's the start button? There you go right there. It's a start. That's not right. Ah, oh, here we go. Is a fighter? Should be a shooting thing yet. Can't escape. La 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 la. I'm gonna get vibration this time. Take a hit. Oh, a cat or something. I'm not getting vibration with this. I don't know if it's the game or not. Let's try another one real quick. All right. So I, I think I need to go into some stuff because I'm pretty sure this is still not going to have any vibration. So I don't know how compatible things are in that, but I'm sure it's just case of tweaking things. As usual, even if uh, sometimes the main PC version take a hit and see. With Hagar here, yeah, I'm getting any vibration on my vibrator. Works on the PC version, not on the Steam Deck right now. But that's okay, because I'm sure I've got some tweaks and stuff. But that's... um. Really everything guys, isn't it? So everything works, the uh, connections are all good. This has run way over time. Again, I'm gonna have to do more editing than I wanted to do. Um, yeah, it's really clean. Really clean device. We want everything that, if you want it to just, if you just want something in the words of the legendary Todd Howard, that just works, it just works. Then this is the device to get, right? It's 70 uh, quid UK money, it's probably about $100. $80, $90, US. So, um, yeah, wherever possible, you can get Amazon. Use our links, support the channel for free. 
Let me know any other questions and stuff that you have, any other videos you want to see around the Steam Deck. And click one of the videos on the screen right now that will be related to this very thing, unless YouTube decides that you have something much more interesting that you should be watching.